Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been... I don't think I've even filmed a video in this dorm yet. Uh, welcome to my dorm. So, um, I'm gonna be talking about my experience if you read the title. I don't think anybody just clicked on this video for no reason. We know what we're all here for. Um, I'm gonna be talking about my experience seeing One Us in concert and more importantly, their fan sign. So like meeting them, my first fan sign, my first everything. Y'all know when I do fan slots and stuff, I have, I have seven Young Moon fan slots. This ain't about him right now, but I love him, but it's okay. Um, yeah, I'm no stranger to what a fan sign is. We'll talk about that later though. Um, oh my God, my voice is like still dead. So like, I'm gonna save the fan sign. It's gonna be like the biggest portion, I guess, but um, I do wanna talk about the concert first. Uh, I went to One Us's Fly With Us tour in LA over the weekend and um, I had VIP. I went by myself, which kind of an interesting experience. I've never actually like traveled far by myself. I've traveled to like San Francisco and stuff and like I, I was meeting up with people. I knew people going pretty well or I traveled with somebody, but for this concert, I went by myself down to LA. And like, so I drove down by myself, Airbnb by myself, hung out around town by myself, which honestly wasn't that bad. It was actually a lot of fun. And um, the trip all in all was just amazing for me and I really needed it. Um, I'll talk about that more when I do my album haul video and stuff, or like my, my LA things I bought haul video, whatever. Um, so yeah, so the concert was Friday night and uh, I got there around three. I have VIP, I really, really wanted VVIP. I'm so mad I didn't get it. VVIP, you got to take a group selfie, like just you and the members of One Us and pff, I should have gotten it, why didn't I get it? I don't understand how it sold out so fast. It sold out in under a minute. So I just settled with VIP, which was still amazing. Um, we got numbered wristbands. They started giving them out at two and I was supposed to be there at two, but I stopped like a billion times because I mean, I'm six hours away. So for the concert, um, I was number 325 and I pretty much ran to the venue, got my wristband, met up with one of my friends, got some merch and then I had to go check in my Airbnb and get ready. I mean, like I said, I did go to the concert alone, but I did make um, a friend in line. Uh, so if you're watching this, you know who you are. You're my homie. Congrats on such a successful fan project. Um, yeah, she was really great. Uh, there was no pushing inside the venue either. Uh, I'd say I was about like 20 rows back. I The venue was really small, so like I wasn't really worried about being like in the front or anything except now that i look back on it i really wish i did get there earlier because ugh, they were taking photos on people's phones they're taking videos on people's phones but yeah so um the concert amazing one us has always been kind of on the edge of like ult and semi ult for me like i have like this thing with me where i'm really really picky about my ult groups and like you have to just be like impressing me to like an impossible extent to be considered like the, the top tier, which is why like my top groups are pretty much BTS and the boys. And then I guess I'd say Golden Child still not at their back, which you should stream their video. So I didn't want to ult another group, but like literally once they got on stage, I was like, yep, they're an ult. It takes a lot for me to consider a bias, like my ult of ults. There's a reason that Younghoon and Yoongi are my two ult of ults and nobody else. Raven wasn't even performing. He was just standing there wiping sweat off of his face. And I was like, I'm about to financially invest in this dude. So Raven became an ult of ult, like literally like one and a half songs in. But yeah, the concert itself was just so amazing. I didn't even like think about the fact that I was there and I was about to see one us and didn't realize how I was like losing my shit until like dead ass they were on stage. I'd say it was like a couple of songs and I think it was when they were performing Valkyrie. I was like, these bitches are right there. Intro time was so cool. They did the extended version. They need to put the extended version on the next album. I need it. It's like my favorite intro. It's one of my favorite intros out of any group. 
it's it just hits really really <laughs> If you don't listen to Wanna's, you really need to listen to Wanna's. Just please, they deserve it. Before the concert, Soho basically got on the mic and told us during like the Matrix part in Valkyrie, uh, like where they like like shoot and they're like. He said they were gonna shoot heart guns at us and they wanted us to do the Matrix part in the crowd and it was really cute. Oh, they're so adorable. I don't understand how a group can be so adorable and so hot at the same time and and so they're just talented. He lost a button on his shirt too during I forgot what song he, Raven lost the button on his shirt too, but he lost the button on his shirt and I was just like, bruh, you're not doing this to me right now. It was awful. It wasn't awful, but like it was awful. <laughs> I'd say that my favorite uh, performance had to be Crazy and Crazy. That's one of my favorite songs. It was really cool because they did like a little Show Me The Money like parody before. And then, so Raven performed, Lita performed, and then the vocal line all came out and rapped. And it was just like, that shit was straight fire.
They also did an Old Town Road cover stage and I was just like, this is 2019. <laughs> caught me on guard because they switched it to the song called The Hills by The Weeknd and that shit killed me like I was just done I was done <laughs> Oh my god, the White Knight performance too was just so amazing. White Knight and Red Thread, like both of those songs, they just hit me so deep and get me so emotional and stuff. And when they were performing the both of them, especially Red Thread with the choreo and like White Knight with the fan project, it just looks so pretty. <laughs> So many good performances. Yeah.
After it was over, I was just kind of standing there like, I was sad because I was like, okay, I'm probably not gonna see them perform like in person again for a while. But like, at the same time, I was all like, oh my God, I'm about to high touch them. And at this point, the fan sign wasn't even like a thought in my head. And so I was just like, cool, let's go meet one us. And I actually managed to record audio. It's really garbage audio, but like you can hear me talking to Raven and telling him like, oh my God, see you tomorrow, I love you. And then you can hear him going, oh, I love you, back to me, and... See you tomorrow. I love you, see you tomorrow. Love you, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, love you. See you tomorrow, thank you. Yeah, the high touch went by really, really fast, but that's okay. Um, it kind of helped me be like, oh my God, this is them rather than like the actual shock of getting to the fan sign going, oh my God, that's them. Even though I still had that shock at the fan sign going, oh my God, that was them. But yeah, so then the next day was the fan sign and <sighs> I'm dead y'all. So for the, this is like I said, this is my first like fan sign that I've actually attended. I didn't really have enough like time or money to think about buying props and stuff. So I didn't really do much with props, but I brought Raven, like this stuffed dog, which one of my friends gave to him instead of me giving to him. And then I also brought him little devil horns and I'll put like photos of both like here so you can see them, but they were really cute. Red, red, that's all I can say is red. I showed up to the venue, which was like in a very sketchy part of LA. I can't tell if I'm allowed to park here or not, but Saturday. <coughs> I don't see any signs that don't say or that say Sunday, so yeah. I met up with some more people from a group chat that I was in for the fan sign and then um yeah, we pretty much went in and we drew our numbers and they gave us our fan sign album. I pulled 13. How does that happen? Like First fan sign ever, and I'm like one of the first people to go up, and I was like, honestly, just... I sat in my like seat, and I thought I was gonna literally die. Like, it was one of the most terrifying moments of my life. So close, it was cool because like, I sat really close and I could see like the stage and everything, but like, I don't know what to expect from fan signs. I've never been to them. I hardly watch fan sign footage because I just get sad, like, that should be me. And so I sat there and I was just in complete and utter shock. Yeah, so they all came in looking hella good. They were all wearing like some low cut ass shit too. Some of them were wearing some low cut ass shit too. Like Raven really pulled up with like the animal print low v-neck and I was just like, I right, cool, you're gonna do this to me right as I meet you. You wanna take it Uh-uh. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Everybody be showing up looking good, looking good, always looking good. They were glowing, they looked so good, they just looked so good. And um, yeah, before I knew it, 
they started already like they started right away and I was just not prepared and stuff. The only thing that kind of sucks with my music taste is you're not allowed to write like notes to them. You're not really allowed to write um you weren't allowed to ask them post-it questions. It could only be signed just to your name. It couldn't be like signed to like to my Calissa, to blank Calissa, you know, like what I do with like my other fan slots. Um, so that kind of sucked, but I was also super like, I was like, you know what? I can't even complain right now. I'm about to fucking meet one of us. Uh, I tried my best to remember all the conversations. I meant to charge my Apple Watch so I could record the conversations and I didn't charge my Apple Watch because I'm stupid. And that's probably one of my biggest regrets of this whole thing was not taking my Apple Watch and like voice recording as I went along. So I had to try really hard to remember uh, my conversations with most of them, which I feel like I did a pretty good job about remembering like at, like at least the gist of the conversations. So first off was Soho. And so here's my page. She has very interesting signature, very big, like cool. But uh, he's so cute, he's so smiley. I think out of all the members, I remember our conversation the least just cause I was so shit my pants scared. It was very easy to like kind of calm down and stuff. Our conversation was really nice. Love him, he's adorable. I'm so happy he made it on tour because he wasn't here for most of like the other tour dates and so he was luckily able to come to finish off the tour and come to the fan sign so really excited I got to meet him he's a sweetheart he's so cute next Mr. Raven <sighs> this dude got me fucked up y'all so this was uh my page for Raven um he looks so good, that stupid glare. I just want you guys to see how good he looks. He flirts so hard with people at the fan sign. When I was telling people about our conversation, and I probably remember our conversation the most because I remember when I went up to him, I was like, I know I'm gonna remember this conversation. I'm gonna make sure I remember this one out of any conversation. And I really do because that shit was terrifying and I'm still terrified and I'm living my YN dream right now. Like this dude flirts. He's a flirt for days and it's ridiculous how well he knows how to flirt. And I like couldn't even say half the things I wanted to say to him because I was so terrified and overwhelmed because of how much he flirts. But yeah, I brought him the little stuffed dog, like I said, that my friend gave him. So he cuddled that earlier on in the fan sign. And then I brought him my little devil horns for my Halloween costume. And oh, he's so cute. He had like a little problem with his eye. Like you think he popped like a blood vessel. And just when I gave him the devil horns, he's like, oh, I'm your devil. And I was like, bruh. And it got me fucked up because this dude, when I sat down, I was like, oh my God, I love you, I love you. And he was like, I'm your bias. 
but he didn't he didn't go like oh i'm your bias he was like i'm your bias like tell him and i was like yeah he caresses your hands he stares you down he knows he's hot and it stresses me out so bad i let go of his hand for a second because i was panicking so bad and he literally like grabbed them and held them tighter and was like no i want to keep holding your hand and stuff and he kept calling me pretty and you know i don't care if it's all fan service and stuff that shit gave me a big head like got the biggest head for days now even after I was done talking to Raven, he was still like looking over at me and smiling and he held my hand like literally to the very last second. I got and sat next to Lido next and Lido took such a long time signing my page and I was like kind of just staring at him. I wasn't watching him sign my page because I was just in shock because Lido's fucking beautiful too. Like, I mean, they're all beautiful, but like Raven and Lido, like two rappers, I'm a whore for rappers and just sitting there staring them down. I'm, I'm like, what's taking so long for this dude to sign my page? Him and Soho have the worst signatures I've ever seen in my life. Like, what is that? It makes me so mad. I'm not actually mad. He had like like little stickers on his eye that looked like a little eyebrow piercing kind of like J-bombs And I knew I knew they weren't real, but I was still kind of joking with him and I was like, oh uh, Like your eyebrow piercing and stuff and I, he was like, oh, they're not real it's stickers explaining it to me like hella mansplaining he loves to mansplain things and it's really adorable and like, you know, somebody who's like so confident like on stage and stuff It's so cute to see him get like all shy and flustered when you're telling him that like He's a really good rapper and stuff because when I told him that I really like the crazy and crazy stage, he was just like, oh, he's adorable. They're just, oh, he's so cute. Next was Sion. And I'd say after this weekend, Raven's definitely my bias. Sion is definitely like my bias wrecker. He is so adorable. You can tell that he's trying to learn shit from Raven too. Like he's trying to be a little flirt too. And it's kind of adorable, but like, this is his page, he signs it with so many hearts and it's really cute and... <laughs> I literally sat there and watched him just draw a shit ton of hearts on my page and I was like, you're so cute, I love you, oh my god. But he he stares you in the eyes the same way Raven does, like he does not break eye contact, like it's really, it's really mesmerizing. He has, he's just so cute, he looks so like interested in what you have to say to him and he stays concentrated like really, really hard. I forgot to mention this, but like all the members spoke English like a little bit. Um, I don't speak Korean and I didn't want to go up and make a fool of myself knowing I can't speak Korean. Like, so I know like very basic stuff, but for the most part, I just tried to, I, I spoke in English. That's like a little side note if you're ever going to a fan site and you're scared. Most idols these days kind of know like 
they know little basis of things. I started writing notes, but then I was like, I don't want to sit here trying to read off this paper, like trying to say shit in Korean and embarrassing myself while they're sitting there just staring at me. So I feel like it was a lot less awkward and the conversation honestly flowed a lot easier when I just tried to like wing it and try my best. And so that's kind of my recommendation uh, for anybody who ever goes to a fan sign. <laughs> Sion is just, he's adorable. I was telling him that I liked his rapping during Crazy and Crazy. He got super shy and he's just, oh, he's really pretty. They're all so pretty. Oh my God, I can't get over it. After him was Hwan Wung and his was probably the most awkward, not in a bad way, but the most awkward conversation I had. Cause, but like it turned really chill really fast, but a lot of it was just like him being very sassy and he can't hear very well. So like, it was a lot of me like, repeating myself and blah 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 like but this was Juan Moon's page oh, he's so precious <laughs> almost my bias until I experienced Raven for the first time when I was getting into One Us. When I sat down with him, yeah, I spelled his name wrong and I actually rewrote his post to like 50 times because I wanted to get his name perfect. And then the one post that I settled with, I spelled his name wrong. So I watched him like write the little A in there and I was just like, I'm so sorry. And he's all, no, it's okay. My name's weird. And like, he got really happy when I told him that I really like his name and I thought his name was cool. and. I don't think he hears that very often. He probably is insecure about his name because like of how uncommon it is. So I think he really appreciated to hear somebody tell him that it was like a really cute name. And then he was wearing these little baby hands and all the members, most of the members were wearing the little baby hands that Mary gave them. And so like when you'd go to like hold their hand, they'd be like, you want to hold my baby hand? And so this time I beat Wong Wong to it and I was like, oh, I like your baby hands. And then he got like really offended for a second because I think he thought I was talking about his little hands because he's little, like he's tiny. He's shorter than me. And so he thought I was talking about his baby hands and I was like, no, 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 like, like your baby hand. And so like that was just our whole combo and stuff. And like he was telling me about how he wanted to rap more and stuff. And I really think he should rap more. So RBW, please let like, please let the vocal line in general try rapping a little more like they were all really, really good at the concert. And last but not least, uh, Gunhee was the last member. Uh, he's so adorable too. Oh my god. Look at the little smiley face he put next to my name. Him. I didn't realize that he has uh, bottom braces. He has bottom braces and he kind of like didn't smile as big until I smiled and showed my braces because he was talking and then I think he noticed my braces while we were talking and then he started smiling like really big and stuff and like it was just a really cute interaction with him. Um, 
I don't remember a lot of our conversation either because by this point I was just so panicked from like all the shit that had gone on with like the rest of the members and stuff and just my mouth was dry and like I thought I was gonna have a panic attack at the end of it like I was losing my shit like I needed a vibe check for days it was so bad and he was really really like nice and easy to talk to also and I feel like with him, I talked the most about like, oh, how I went to KCON and I, I really did go to KCON majorly for one us and I was so upset like when they weren't there and stuff. And so he was kind of the member that I said the most about like KCON too and stuff. And like we made like little promises like, oh, do you, like I promised to come back. And I was like, oh, well, I promised to come see you again. And so then I sat through the rest of the fan sign um, just in a panic. And they all came down and were like talking to us and stuff and messing around and taking photos and Got like a lot of really cute like shots of everybody. Got a, got a couple times where Raven would like look over at me and stuff and like smile and it was just really cute. I really feel like I'm rushing the end of this but like I have class in like 10 minutes. Um, but yeah, I'd say most of the most of the stuff is in like my actual clips of me meeting the members. For this weekend, I'd say One Us is really up there with BTS and the boys. Um, they're just all really talented. They all have really, really good personalities. They all seem like such warm, genuine people and super, super kind people. Raven flirting with me will probably make me have my own head up my ass for like the rest of my life, but that's okay because deserve. I don't even have the words to like explain. Like I still haven't processed that like it just happened. It all feels like a dream. And uh, yeah, I really hope to see them soon. Um, like whether it's when I go to Korea or when they come back again. One Us are just so talented and I really, really do recommend you guys check them out and they really do deserve the support. I feel like they could make it really big. All in all, this weekend was just full of me getting killed by my bias and me getting killed by One Us. And it was a really interesting experience. Like I said, I've never been to a fan sign before. Just amazing. Like. This is like a dream, like one of my wildest dreams, and I'm so happy I got to experience it. If you ever have the chance to go to a fan sign, and meet your ult, meet your anybody, just, it was just so amazing. Oh my God, like I feel so like reborn after that. Like, oh my God, it's so dramatic. But yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm gonna link the thread with like my actual like notes app conversation, like ran out of like the Oneness members, and like, it's just like my little thread of meeting them and if you want to check it out go ahead um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe show your mom show your dad show your dog and i will see you guys next time bye